morning, this is Pixie. Driving in the snow again. Lights on, I guess. Nice. Quite fun driving in the snow. As long as there's no other cars on the road, <laughs> otherwise they create a lot of problems. Um, so I was having a think, and I've got like a. The idea of what happened, what would the Earth be if it was more like uh, with the with the tectonic plates? It was like a rose. Just thinking about these sort of ideas, I'm not saying it's exactly right, but I'd imagine that I'm going to have to apply the physics because of nature rules the universe, isn't it? People think, oh, there's only life on this world. I'm sure there's life everywhere, everywhere else. It's just that we can't can't be proven because we haven't gone out then and been to all these different locations uh, so there's also theory of um, with, with the hollow earth you get hollow planets the moon's supposedly hollow they did a missile test on the on the moon and it rang like a bell for, for a couple of hours um, so it's definitely got hollow sections or what it's actually made out of. That's why uh, the um, you want to know what David Icke shows this picture of the moon and um, it being a spacecraft. People ridicule him, but actually all he's done is done research into what other people have said about it, and um, and that's what it came up with a design as, as, it, as the moon as a kind of um, Death Star, and then you know it fed into other sorts of uh, films and things. Um, you got as you Star Wars and and also Unicron, that was a quite interesting bit as well from Transformers. The Planet Eater. Which may be uh, Nibiru because because the actual film came out when the report of Nibiru, so it kind of seems to sort of coincide. The giant planet would come into the um, come into a solar system and then start destroying all these other planets. And it may actually no another so I guess I guess it's it suggested it destroys home city system maybe but I think planets are conscious they're conscious entities um, so the fabric of the universe is the consciousness of it is nature and we are a very small section of it um, people love the idea of these multi universes I think we're just actually a, a, like a neuron in a network. There's a whole network of different um, galaxies, and they kind of are threaded together with the quantum strings, and they just form a part of like a brain. I think the elite will eventually realise there's no point chasing after money, and you might as well devote yourself to some spiritual end, you know, end goal. Really, I think people would devote themselves to you, and some things. Some things are more powerful than their money as well. Like if somebody, if somebody has a strong attachment to yourself, like through fame and and that kind of thing, that you become something they would do anything for. And what value could you put on that? I mean, the only way you get that out of somebody would be through, through some form of slavery, that kind of commitment. Um, and it takes you, you take years of abuse to make somebody so subservient. Um, well, say that if, if it, with the right conditions like a nuclear holocaust or something I'm sure that um, people would just fall in line if they're starving deprivation basically when your needs when you lose your certain needs you become um, subservient to certain um, I don't know if this is a good idea <laughs> or overtaking the bus it's a fresh bit of snow and slush. Um, so uh, yeah, with with with, I mean, it's a bit like a child, really, isn't it? They quickly just, they quickly figure out who their parents are because um, they're the ones feeding them and taking care of them, and um, 
if that's what you offer, but you offer that with, uh, I just need your loyal, loyalty and obediency, and you kind of reinforce certain things. Um, you know, if you're, cold, if you're cold, hungry, um, slightly traumatised, you quickly conform to something that offers stability, uh, strength, power and unity. So it's um, it's quite quick to convert someone over, I guess. Uh, the other thing I'm picking up on information to do with the planet is most people are aware of chemtrails and um, weather control. The um, next cycle will be planet control, and that will be to water the planet's magnetosphere using a ring of um, satellites or some sort of installation like that, and um, basically pulse also pulses in the planet so that you can get the planet to go um, go to a further certain, say it's, it changes orbit. In terms of wider orbit, you can create an ice age, so you create an ice age. So if you're an elite person, you think, well, do you know what? We could get rid of a lot of homeless people if we create an ice age. And we could also get rid of a lot of, you know, what they consider non-essential um, eaters, maybe, or, or whatever they consider themselves. Whatever they want to create, that would be a perfect opportunity. And... Um, they can go in their little bases underground, which uh, regulated the temperature, uh, and uh, they, they've stockpiling with food. The food that's stored in there, yeah, sure, it, it's been um, some of it's been preserved and dry stored, but there's some other stuff that's actually in tins down there, um, and so so they would like to they don't want to sort of keep lots of uh, of this kind of food, and they would they would love to test the system as well. So that would be one way of doing it, if the weather conditions turn too harsh, then a ration on the surface, they would have a regulated environment down below, and there'd be other sorts of dark things that go on down there. You know, people that think they're safe may become offerings to something, or some beings may want to um, make a certain arrangement. And if you lived underground, or you lived through, there may even be some weird, um, like if you want to get in the club, you give up. You give up your firstborn to um, some reptiles or something. You know, we're only allowed to have a certain amount of children. So you have any more than that, you have to give them, give them away to something. Um, and that would be quite evil. So there's certain opportunities, and then the reverse of that is that you correct the path, or you've got the seasons that's buggered up from the planet. You've got your seeds stored there. You can create the reverse of that, it's turned to the place a bit tropical. And then the things you release back into the environment will have um, sort of nanotechnology installed with them as well. And some other things like that. Wow, well, so this is going through these chemtrails anyway. I mean, what you want is a kind of. Um, Cyborg Utopia, and then you can uh, have a working slave. But well, I think they've, they've upgraded to the, the robots. But the, the problem with the robots is that they could they could surpass um, humans, and if we can get the uh, consciousness over into them, um, I mean, ideally, tra transfer someone's actual consciousness. So. If life is about learning, so you take the knowledge of your life, and then if you can install that into a machine, it wouldn't have to learn what pain is and all these other moral lessons because it would already be aware of them. It, might, it just wouldn't feel them as a machine. That's the only um, downside. But the upside is you wouldn't wouldn't suffer any sort of issues that would reinforce things like heartbreak and stuff. Uh, it's just a, you'd have to take time to um, acknowledge how different you are because otherwise you could potentially become a psychopath if you were some type of android and you really only had about half of your brain in there and or just had to, you just need the core of it really or just the DNA would be fine to sell the DNA um, that you can sort of connect to like a circuit 
And you can imagine like some neurons added to a circuit. Anyway, this is uh, Pixie sign off and I'll speak to you soon.